Hey guys, welcome to the fifth part of the Real Flows Inu tutorial. And in this part, I'm gonna show you how to play this part. Alright, so the left hand is almost the same as in the last part, it just changes a little bit. So you start again on F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, and instead of just playing it once like this, you will add another C sharp in the end, so like this. After this you will go down to the next chord, which is this one, and you also already know this from the last part. And it just also add an A in the end. Alright. Okay, after this you go down to G. Again the same. And then up. And instead of playing this chord now, you will play the big chord, this one. Alright. So again. So as you can see you'll play it twice. The next part of the left hand also changes a little bit but not too difficult. Instead of playing those three notes, you'll go down one octave and play those three. So it will sound like this. But now you won't go down to the G, but uh, to the A, sorry, but you will go up to the A, so like this. So the first two chords you play with the left hand, they will go down uh, one octave. So again, the whole, uh, what you call it, chorus, I don't know, with the left hand. Or oh, just only the left hand, I mean. In the end, I think the left hand changes a little bit, but we get to that later. Alright, so now let's listen to the right hand on its own. So that's about the right hand. You see it's pretty fast, but you can learn it if you just repeat it really often. It will get faster and faster and you'll make it after some time. Alright, so let's get go through that really slowly. So what you do is, you play this. You start on the A, go one note higher to the uh, B then back to the A, then to G sharp, and then back to A. Alright? And then with your thumb and uh, index finger, you go to the lower A and E. Play A, E, A. Alright? So again. All 
right and you do this twice so again And the third time you do it, it will sound like this. So now it gets complicated. So what you do is, you start like in the first two parts with this. But now you will go up again, not down to the A, but up to B, then C sharp, D, and E. So again. Then you will go back to C sharp, so from E, and not to D. So C sharp, B, A, G sharp. And then you will hit the B once. Alright? So again. And you do this whole thing twice, alright? So once more, real slowly, and then what it should sound like in normal speed. Alright, and now a normal speed. Alright, you do this twice, so with the left hand it will sound like this. And the third time you play it, you can change your right hand and add this little special thing that makes the song so awesome. Or you can just leave it out and continue playing like this. Or you can add this. Now I still don't know how that's called in English, so you gotta tell me in the comments. Um, And it works like this. It's pretty easy actually. You hit the A once and then just really quick again and go up to B and to A again. And the faster you do it, the more awesome it sounds. Alright, you can just practice that a lot and then it will sound way more awesome. Alright, and what also changes is, your left hand goes down, and your right hand plays this. See? Instead of just playing C and B, you will hit this. Alright, and you can also just practice that like this. And the faster you do it, the more awesome it sounds. Alright, I'll play it now once with the left hand, so you can hear it. And then I'll go through the right hand really slowly one more time. And in the next part, I'll show you how to put both hands together.
All right. So uh, what you can also add is this little thing already in the first two times you play it. So you can also add it like in the beginning. But I would recommend you to play this only in the third time you play it. Because when you play it in the beginning, um, I don't know, it sounds kind of weird. And I think in the original version of Yuruma, he also just starts playing it when his left hand goes down one octave. Alright? So when your hand goes down, you should play it like this. Alright, so now we go through the right hand one more last time, real slowly, and then one last time in normal speed. And now one last time the right hand in normal speed, how it should sound like in the end. So that's it for the left and right hand and in the next part I'm going to show you how to put both hands together. So thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next part.